and onto the final little book of this little film. Um, this is a double concertina. So if you look, when you open it, you have folds going both ways. And again, this is just a tiny, really simple, little quick thing. Um, I'll just show you, it makes some really nice shapes. You can lay it down like that and it's like a building block kind of thing. Um, and obviously you can make this as long as you like. I've just made a really simple little one just for you to get an idea, um, but it's yours to then go and play play with. Okay, so I've got this piece of piece is, is a card, but quite a soft card. Um, let's move that out of the way. And this piece is half of an A4. So we're going to fold this in half. Again, get your bone folder, middle out, middle out. And then fold it the, on itself the other way around. Middle out, middle out. And we're doing that because I want to tear it again. So gently pull it apart. And if you want to tear paper, always fold it both ways. Um, and then it makes it really soft and able to open. Okay, so same as before, we're going to fold each piece in half and then in half again. But this one would be a lot of fun making it with, with some packaging um, against, you know, boxes from food or whatever you've got, as long as it's not too stiff cardboard. Um, but if it's already kind of got patterns and designs on, this is a really nice one for making um, patterns, for playing with patterns. Um, and again, once you've got the hang of how you make this, you can plan in advance. You can draw something on it first. Um, the other books are very easy to draw on after the fact, after you've made it, whereas this one is a bit more difficult. Okay. And then each one of those in half again. And then um, I just fast forwarded on because it was getting a bit boring for you guys. Um, so again, middle out. So we have two nice concertina accordion folds there. So you can sort of see how that's going to, they're going to fit together like so. Okay, so the way you fit them together, it's very simple. One side, we've got um, book binding terms. This where, where the fold is down, that's called a valley. And these are the mountains. So you've got valleys and mountains all the way through. So... We are joining the valleys of two sides. Can you see? So these. So one piece of your paper, you need to cut halfway up in all of your valleys. So I'm just doing this by eye for speed, but feel free to measure if you're not confident enough with where the middle might be. Okay. So, see so that's got the cut on the bottom. So therefore this one needs to have the cut on the top. So again, each of the, or another way of looking at it actually, this way round, because when we pick it up, it's, it's the mountain bits. Um, Sorry, I may well have just totally confused you at that point, but play with it. <laughs> it's the best way to understand. Okay, so. See, then we're going to join it together. So, you've got to put... There we go. 
is a little bit fiddly. And the final one, like so. Okay, so then it will fold up, can you see, like so. Right, so then we just need to make the cover for it. So when it's folded up, that's the size you need to measure. And I have two pieces of card that are more or less exactly the same size. But what I want to do is cover them. So I've got some more pages from old books here. And again, just a case of some Pritt stick on your card. Place your card in the centre of your piece of paper then you need to cut the corners off but when you cut the corners off you need to make sure that you leave a little bit of an overhang don't cut right to the card or else the card will poke through a little bit when you've folded it over There we go. And then a little bit of glue on each of your sides. Like so. And you just fold them over. So, and kind of almost like massage it around the board. <laughs> uh, there we go. And this side where you're sticking it doesn't matter too much because you're not going to see it. It's going to get totally covered over so then do the same with the second piece of board so when you've got your two pieces of board ready you just need to attach your book so some glue on one end and again if you want to use double sided do use double sided I'm just doing this for speed more than anything And then also on this side. And hey presto, oops, it's okay. You have your little book, which you can then spend hours playing with, making all sorts of shapes with it um, and then what I did for my other little one that I made um, was use all these little spare triangles and decorate the inside uh, with my triangles but I will do that in my own time <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those and that you may have a little bit of space and time to make something fun